Those are okay fans, and welcome to this monthly 1v1 tournament for May. It's gonna be first game is between Clone and Yoga, and for this commentary, I am as usual joined by Flores. It's me again. <coughs> Indeed it is. So game has already started. We're gonna be so Clone and Yoga on Desert Cliffs. Clone has gone for Cloaky, while Yoga is obviously gone for Hovercraft. Getting a fairly quick mace. Losing it fairly well actually not even losing it that quickly, but does get rid of quite a few glaives in the process. Fortunately, the player start in the game kind of crashed as I was trying to get in, but we are in. We only missed 90 seconds of the game, and a lot has happened already. Yeah, Jurgis already... He's pushing with his main commander. His only, he only has one commander. We aren't playing 2v2 right now. So yeah, if you recognize the name Yurga, that's because he's... Well, him and Saab won the first 2v2 tournament, and... I can't remember how they did in the second one. Ultimately, the second one, I don't think, totally finished because of the... Bronze match was never played, but uh, well, maybe appeared. there's something to say about his first attack. Um, he lost the mace. He did lose a uh, mace for four glaives, which yeah. isn't worth it exactly, especially given that he donated the mace. Oh, no, he made a small mistake by shooting the factory instead of the glaives. <laughs> uh, but now we have Actually, this one. Yurga's got Yurga's basically gotten the majority of this game for him. He's, I mean, he has between the scrubber and commander. Clones commander is in a bad spot, although admittedly Yurga start. Okay, Yurga's now has the tables turned and on him. Will go down. He is, yeah, his commander's gone down. Not close to anything else to, else to destroy it, though his main base is actually fairly safe right now. Two more scrubbers coming in. He still has an economy. Clone lost pretty much everything other than one metal extractor. He lost his commander, which is for metal income. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yurga did lose quite a lot there. He uh, lost his energy. He has two solars left. <laughs> Um, and he doesn't have turrets in his main base, so there's not oh, much he, he can do. Lost two oh man, there goes the scrubbers. Okay, at this point, Yurga's kind of lost it, unfortunately. He there rolled was... the dice with the mace. It was a good try. It could have worked, but he hey, made a small one. micro mistake and uh, it failed. It's game one, so it's probably not the biggest deal. That's yeah, it's a very small map. This is the type of map you want these type of things mm -hmm. on. <clears throat> So game one is going to be getting to be your clones, but Yorga still has a couple more chances. He wins the next two games, you should be fine. Nope. Actually, I'm surprised Yorga's actually still he's still holding on. He's still going for it. Not sure if he's yeah, quite and aware of what's Clone going on. decided to uh, make some constructors instead of uh, ending the game immediately. Well, that is just like clone. <laughs> Yeah, he plays it safe. But it doesn't matter, his glaives are coming in, and I think this is going to be it for Yurga. I mean, Yurga's going to try to push this away, but the scrubber's going to die soon enough. And once that happens, there's really nothing that Clone can do to lose this game. And she's going to kill the lab pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, there's the GG. Fact, there we go. Yeah, nice try, but better luck next time. Okay, so that was game one. That was extremely short, which occasionally happens, and we're going to be moving on to game two in just a moment. Actually, I should probably go over the brackets, too. I didn't have a chance. So these are the brackets. Read them, commit them, commit them to memory. Okay, anyway, Randy and Ivory King. We have Clone and Yurga in the game we're doing. Then Lowry and the Sponge is going out at the same time, and Google Frog and Zakdoth once they get in. So those will be the games for today, and of course the winners will play each other, as is the nature of a tournament. But for now, we'll just move on to the next game, so stay tuned. Or now. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to game two of Clone and Yurga. It's going to be on Coastal because Yurga has managed to successfully convince Clone to go for. A C map, which for those of you who aren't super familiar with Zero K, are not very popular, and that's actually yep. an understatement. <laughs> it's still uh, very much a work in progress with uh, new units, new movement, new uh, factories, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <clears throat> yeah, but we'll see. Clone but going in for the best a way to test this is with uh, a tournament game. Sure is. Clone going for shipyard and amphib plant for Yurga, and. Wow. Yeah, I think Yurga's probably got this. Spam those ducks. 
No, he, he's making a hunter that uh, used to hard counter ducks, but I have absolutely no idea how this game works out nowadays. I haven't kept up with the changes. Well, let's see. I don't know either. The last time I played hunter would hunter would be a good choice. Last time I played, though, you'd need a few numbers. Let's see, seventeen hundred health compared to the four hundred damage of the duck should be fine. It's more about the range, I guess. And oh if wait, it's still no, ducks only deal two hundred. Oh, ducks deal two hundred thirty damage now. They were nerfed hard. Wow. And, and down goes the first shots. duck. Wow. Well, okay, so we know that all. So Hunter too. is definitely a hard counter to ducks. Ducks are not a hard counter to mechs anymore. Mechs is still only being at 400 health. Used to be that it was 400 damage for the torpedo, and that was just death. Now, another interesting thing to point out is the commanders. Um, I'm not sure if they prepare their commanders for water games, if they loaded on torpedo launchers they for can't. some. Torpedo launcher no longer exists. It was destroyed with, or it was removed with the E-cell change. Really? Yep. Torpedo really launchers are no longer a part of the keep game. Keep up with. <laughs> okay, then I'll leave the the strategic analysis to you. But but that's what you do. That's what you're here for. <laughs> uh, uh, what, uh, well, okay. So uh, what are they doing? Going to do with their commanders now? Um, I, well, make torpedo launchers. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. I mean, the thing is, their commanders are. The commander's still underwater, and that's kind of difficult to spot. Although with a hunter, I think I don't remember if the hunter has. Does the hunter have any vision? No, it doesn't look like. Well, okay, he can't, I can't tell what the hunter has yet, or right, because clone has not gone in far enough. But I'm pretty sure it does have sonar, <sighs> which means it will be able no, to find Yurga's commander. Uh... There's no easy way to fight back. Although it's harder for clone. I mean, Yurga has Yurga has to deal with the ships, but at the same time. Clone can just, like, he can't even go in the water at all thanks to the ducks, and even out of the water he has to worry about things. Yurga, at least, he can go back into his base if the ships are getting too oppressive. Uh, I think with two uh, hunters, he'll be safe for a long time. He can claim all the resources on his side of the map, and he'll have an economic advantage for a while. Um, yeah. yeah, I can see that. And, then, and then he can play from there on and... I don't think those uh, torpedo launches are even necessary. Well, we'll see what happens. I think Yurga's going to be attacking from land as best as he can just to avoid he's, the hard uh, counter. He's stalling on energy a bit, and he's not prioritizing the Maxis he's building. He is stalling on energy, but so is Clone, actually. I mean, though Clone is uh, pushing well, more into production. He's got even no, metal yeah, energy. Yeah, Yurga uh, pushing forward. He's taking the forward Maxis. Yes, he wants to make sure he gets the center of the map. Getting the ducks as well. Dropping the ducks back into the water, though, not too close to the... Well, too yep. close to the urchin, that's for sure. Urchin's one shot ducks as well. Wow, ducks have been. Ducks have been nerfed hard. They get one shotted by everything Clone has now. Pretty much, yes. But at this point, we're going to have to see probably boys or. I... Boyo is on those uh, little islands, yes, it's scallops, nice. Scallops, actually. Can... Scallops could work, I think. What's the range on them nowadays? The scallop or the boy? The scallop. The... Okay, the range in the scallop. 300 and 460. We're for the. 460 for the torpedoes. Yeah, 460 underwater, 300 above water. Ah, okay. So they outdo outrange the hunter now. And the boys are at least dealing some damage. Though that. And Clone spamming turrets to shoot at land because he doesn't have anything else. Okay, so Swordtail pointing out that the hunter actually got a speed. Oh, sorry, AoE damage buff and a range nerf. That was the big change. And sure did get a damage buff, my goodness. It... 450 damage in one shot. That would have one shot at ducks before ducks got their HP or HP dropped down by half. Uh, Yurga cannot keep up with the third push now, and he's no, he can't. He's got he's got to move in, back. Uh, this deck. And that's uh, time wasted with his commander and resources wasted on the island. Well, that at least is the short first round. Ah, oh, he doesn't take the LT out with his commander. He doesn't want to take the risk. Well, uh, that's what? not surprising. I gotta oh, be honest, the, I'm not... HLT is, is, is lost position. That's not something you can hold at this point. Ah, yes, there's a stinger being built up. That will not last at all. At the same time, we do have Clone coming in with the Hunters to the north. Gonna get rid of all these ducks and get rid of the Amphib Factory soon after. From the looks of Clone this. does have his first Crusader out now. Um, okay, that's game. That's Not yet. Given it this, takes oh, a, on this a map, while to... On this map, given what Crusaders can do, I think that's probably a game. I mean, you can get the Stinger from here. It's already gotten rid of its entire base for economy. Is it me, or has the projectile speed of the Crusader projectile been lowered? I think I think it might have been, actually, but 
My point is more that Crusader is just going to be able to tear apart everything on land. <laughs> it's turret it's, is uh, spazzing out. Oh, yeah, so it is. But given its range, it's basically going to have no problem dealing with this map. So there's really not much more to be said about this. This game is pretty much clones. He just needs to get around and basically... Well, kill off these boys pretty soon, and then go around and kill off the Amphib plant. If he kills the Amphib plant, I think he'd just seal it right away. Yeah, it's hard for Yerga to uh, fight this. He doesn't have the advantage of the agility of his uh, amphibious units anymore. He cannot use the island no. water movement to his uh, advantage. Fortunately not. And also, being pointed out, the ducks actually got halved in cost as well as health. So it was overall their weight was halved. Which is good to know. Thank you, Sprang, for pointing that out. Sprang? Sprang here? Yeah, Sprang's in the chat. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, he's got the Twitch uh, chat up, so... Oh, okay. The, people are up to. You should be working, uh, Sprang. Don't let uh, your boss know you're watching uh, Spring. Oh, what's... Oh, yeah, I guess it's... <laughs> right, it's actually daytime for you guys. Yeah, you guys have You guys have sun. I don't. Yeah, what time is it over there? 2.30 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah. And Yurga actually being able... To, he's doing what he can. His laser is... He can deal with the hunters, but he has to be super careful. And unfortunately, he can't deal with the crusaders, so care is of little use here. Snake's coming uh, as well, so every snake. at every level. On land, Snow, below. Like, surface to underwater, underwater to underwater, and surface to surface is all covered. Clone has it all. And Yurga jumping into the... He is jumping into the water. That is... Irrelevant, because his commander has just gone down after stepping into the water, thanks to the Crusaders, in the worst Choo -choo. possible place, but yeah, there isn't much going on here. It's Fireman even pointing out in the game that it's game. And the Snake's just trying to deal with the rest of this stuff. The Scallops counterattacking okay, but unfortunately, they cannot hold. They have to move back, and the boys... Not even putting your uh, submarines in range of an urchin is usually a bad idea. Usually is, but at this point I think there may be enough numbers for them not matter. I mean, well, it's five... surprising how quickly uh, an urchin takes out a submarine. That's is it me or has true. the range of submarines been reduced drastically? Well, let's see. The submarine oh. range is 360, so you may have a point. But I don't know what I... it was beforehand offhand, I'm afraid. That is one thing is that it is... I remember submarines as long-range uh, torpedo launchers. Well, it's definitely not the case anymore, and urchins do outrange them by almost... by half. Like, 600 to 360. So, yeah, yes, okay. I see what you mean. The urchin, change. Maybe and I also, given the urchins just... on the island, that's a big thing. But the Crusader can deal with the urchin, no problem. As the snakes tear apart the entire amphib force, down goes everything in the water. Although the boys making the smart choice of getting above water, actually getting to take out the Crusader... Or not quite. The Crusader managed to get out of the way just in time. Close though. Very close. And the boys I'll try to do the can. The Crusader has gone down, the scallops getting on land, and unfortunately not able to deal with the sub the snakes too easily. More scallops being pushed out, but even then, that's still two hundred and eighty metal per, and they aren't doing the best job against the snakes. Just numbers game at this point, and Yurga's pretty much lost that wart. That being said, though, his economy has actually managed to get decently strong in the meantime. Still 20, 28 metal to 44 metal for clone. I... Yeah, the Geo is helping him a bit with here. the overdrive. It is. Geo is actually helping quite a lot with overdrive. It's just not connected to every single mechs, which if it were, that would help quite a bit. A couple pylons, that would help, but I think at this point, Jurg is way too focused on this front line, which makes a lot of sense. Of course he'd be focused on the front line. There's That's where everything's happening. So four snakes, two, three crusaders, four crusaders, and two hunters coming in against about three scallops and a boy. There is no way out of this I can see for Yurga right now. Clone's just pushing in. He's going to be able to tear this apart. Getting rid of the caretakers right away. Going to get rid of the amphib plant soon after, and then basically from there it's going to be game. I mean, Clone, the only weakness he has right now is that he doesn't know exactly where everything is. He does have radar. No, now he's got line of sight. He knows everything. There is nothing that can be done here. Clone has this game. Gonna get rid of the Amphib plant. Gonna get rid of the caretakers. Probably first. Yep, there is caretaker one, and doesn't matter. Yorga throws in the towel. 
Not a bad idea, but I think yeah, Yoga yeah. may have been a bit too cheesy in the second game. The first game, it made sense, but the second game... <sighs> no, uh, the Emphys was a nice idea to try it on the map. It uh, was. I mean, it's definitely a good way of trying to throw your opponent off. If you think you have a way of beating him on a map that's really unfamiliar. People don't play C-maps at all, so if you have any practice in C-maps, I could see that. Definitely but, worth doing. It's just, for game two, it's maybe a little bit too risky. Doesn't matter, the hunter though. hunter just stopped his lap. It, it just stopped flat out. Dead in the water. <laughs> Unintended. Yes, good to know. So, for <laughs> now, I guess we'll have to figure out what the next game is. I think Lowry and the Sponge is still ongoing. Sackdoth has not yet shown up, and I don't think Ivory King is either. Not sure. I don't see anything to do with them, so we'll be back in whenever we're back. Sheesh, I'm not sure when we're going to be back. But when we are, we will be back. By definition. So stay tuned for that. In rapt anticipation. Uh, we can go to uh, the other game. Oh. We can go to uh, Lori. Versus Sponge. Well, what game are they on? Uh, the second on uh, Trojan Hills. How far through the second? Uh, they, I think the game has been going for four minutes now. Oh. Well, there don't seem to be a lot of other options. So, yeah, we'll be back with that right now, I guess. Not much we can do. <sighs> recap the five minutes. So, yeah. I should check who won 